see a change in the bowling. That struck him in front. Loud appeal. He's given him. Rashid gets his first wicket. I don't think he agrees with that decision by the umpire. This was how the wicket fell. Mitchell is the next batsman in. Hit straight to a fielder. He looked as if he was home to me. Just one run. that one right out of the ground. He has smashed that a long, long way. That is great to watch for the neutral, not so good for the bowler. We can have a look at that again. He smashed that a long way. to take that catch. Anderson has taken four wickets now. Now that the tail is exposed, they need to make sure that they keep it tight out there and not give anything more away. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. The next batsman is coming. easy but actually it was a whole lot more difficult than it looked and the fifth wicket for James Anderson how nice it is to see him back in an England shirt and bowling with the old spring and the bite of his youth when he emerged on the scene we thought we had something special today we've seen it because he swung the ball late and has been a real handful for everybody that's batted against him Anderson continues. Done him all ends up. Well, he just got everything wrong and played all around a pretty straight ball. Rashid gets his first wicket. He's gone for a duck. It is a long old walk back when you've made a duck. Quack, quack. We can have a look at that again. Mmm, you just don't see it played much better than that. Marvellously well played.
Well, that one will wake him up a bit. Steered expertly into the gap. He's got it into the gap. Duncan facing. It's straight to a fielder. Duncan facing. Racing away to the square leg boundary. Ah, nicely timed. You don't need to smash the ball to the boundary every time. Sometimes ease and grace will do it. No ball by Anderson. If he runs here, there's the umpire signal. No ball. Edged and safe. Played into the gap. I think he was easily back in the crease there. That's two more runs on the board. Duncan is now facing. Effortless, brilliant and maximum. There's the umpire signal, no ball. Duncan facing. facing. <laughs> Super stuff. Hello again, and the players and the umpires are making their way out of the middle after the break between the innings. We're ready now for the second session of play, and with me commentating is Richie Ben. Thanks, Mark. Welcome back to the cricket ground for this next session of play.
Paul is going to take the first ball. That was a no ball by Mitchell. But he looks as if he might be hurt. There's the umpire signal, no ball. Mitchell is switching to round the wicket. Well, he hardly seemed to hit it and it's six. Paul facing. Never mind the fielder, the bloke in row 10's got the best chance of catching that. We can have a look at that again. was a no ball by Mitchell. That one will have uh, ruffled his feathers. There's the umpire signal, no ball. Mitchell is coming around the wicket. The sweeper picks up. That was a no ball by Mitchell. There's the umpire signal, no ball. Hall waiting at the striker's end. Coming is coming around the wicket. Coming is going to try over the wicket. What a super stroke! Do you know, I didn't think that was a bad ball either. Edged, but safe. It's uh, just one there. Yeah, yeah. Good stroke, good stroke, but I don't think that's the place to bowl to it. Should be some runs here. Yep.
Hall has moved into the 20s and is starting to look far more relaxed. Smash that right out of the ground. That is massive! Stopped in the covers. Mitchell is going to try over the wicket. Coming is going to try over the wicket. Oh, it's a monster. Well, that was six as soon as he hit it. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Coming is switching to round the wicket. Strike six from the moment he hit it. That's a big hit, it'll go all the way. Ouch, that must have hurt. That's two sixes off the over now. Coming is going to try over the wicket. <laughs> 